Alright, this is part two of the 1 to 100 scale master grade perfect gun. Oh, fucked. Fucked. I'm sorry. That was just not nice for him to do that. There. Fixed. God damn it. Okay. So, here's the Gundam. Now, in order to put the armor, armor, well, armor, in the bleh, armor squid, you have to open up some hidden panels, which are right here, right here. Right here, right here, and um, when I told my friend about this, he bought it, and then he said, "Why are you so sick?" And I'm like, "Why?" And then I realized it at school. You have to give him a woman part, piloted by a man, given a woman part. Now, those are all the panels, hopefully. Now, to actually change him, you have to take out the beam sabers, close the two things up, and I find it best to just take the shield, and because it has little clips here, you can just clip the beam sabers on. Knife. And um, there's that. And then what you want to do is you want to pull out the arms. And actually, articulation now, oh, it's not better. I thought it was. Okay, so now he's all extended. Let's go from the bottom up. Grab his stylish boots. And if you're wondering why there's a hole, it's for the thrusters. First part for the feet is you want to take off them back. And you just want to slide him in. Psst. Engage back braces. Perfect Gundam. Gundam. Prep to turn into perfect Gundam. Come on. Big stomp boots. <laughs> it looks like perfect Zeong. Don't come back, we'll come after you. Okay. So that's the um, feet. Now, you get these two pieces for the legs. Sorry if they're all smudgy, it's because of the paint. Now, first part you want to do, take off the front, and then split them in half. And you'll see that these black pieces right here are kind of rubbery. It's because when I first built the guy, there were these two pieces, that, there were these two rubber pieces that are in here. Now I'm like, hey, what are these for? I looked at the instructions, and you did need them. And then I looked closer at the instructions because I didn't see it, and you needed these to go on the inside. And what they do is they basically, they basically are molded to be over here. So you do that. And you close them up, and then you put the knee armor back on, and there, he has extra thrusters, like Char Zaku, or Char's whatever, but Char, all, I've noticed that a lot of Char's mobile suits have extra thrusters, he's the Red Comet, it's his, it's in his title, to be fast, but, okay, Perfect Zeong legs. Or even worse. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah. This is the part where he really found funny. There's this. This peg goes in the bash. Now, I have to go grab the red part that's supposed to go there. Aha, there she be, 20,000 leagues under the sea. 
A giant squid should do it. Yep. Big squid. And that goes right there. And then you put it in the badge and over his fun skirts. Now he has a bigger, bigger groin, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to make it so I don't sound pervy. Now what I did. Yeah, these are really smudged up. Well, not as much as this one as this one. But um, what you can do is you get dry transfer stickers. I don't have them with me. But what you do is you get these um, these normal stickers over here, the decals. And you get the dry transfer, like this big perfect Gundam. That's a dry transfer. That actually took me a long time to get on. And um, then you get the foil stickers for like the eyes and the cameras. Anyway, so to actually what you want to do is you don't want to put these on just yet. You want to put the big squid on. Now what I do is I lead I take the backpack off. Oh Fooey. But um I've already stickered this guy up. Well not with not not with all of it but with a good majority. So there's the front piece, and these little things go onto the side skirts. So what you do is you take this, you put it like that, want to lift up the arms, I guess, and the black spaces that I painted, that's where you peg them in. And now because these keep the, these parts right here, the parts right there, say hey, that always happens. Might as well just super glue the thing down. Uh, sir, I think this room has rodents. Oh, I just saw it! But, um, these always used to disconnect, and I would always be like, hey, where are they? So what I did is I, um, put them in these slots back here. I didn't really like them, because it didn't show off the flare, plus I had trouble connecting them to the side skirts, so I put it up front. And I super glued them. All the wires for these, except for the, um, big gun, these are super glued in. Oh. And then you close him up and put on the back. Now he's tubby. No, I'm tubby. But this guy is meant to fight the perfect Zeong, which is Zeong with a big ass sword and legs. So, yeah. And what I usually do is I bend these up. That way I can. Take these pieces. I gotta angle that a little. I have to do that. I believe you will hear a click. Then you just surround the armor. Surround it with the armor. Hello to all my fans. Yes, I am not Nick except for Mr. Arde. Oh, yes. Yes, he is my only subscriber. No one else cares about this guy. No, no one cares about my reviews. I just publish these things for my health. Plus, uh, every time I videotape a, a video, I always have to, like, get rid of it because it's taking up memory. That's what happened with all my other videos. For the Harrison build, the one video for the Harrison build, the the idea for the Aegis painting, and that's all gone. So... That's perfect on them without the backpack. Now the backpack has actually a good amount of detail. You just gotta panel line it a little bit. But what you do is you strap it on the back and you take the gun and you put it over. And that's it. And then take the shield if you really want to. And you put that over. I gotta super glue these damn things down! Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. There. Perfect Gundam. And for all you people who play SDGO, you'll see him, like, leaning over you with the shield in his front like this, I guess. And I thought, when I saw him, I thought his main attack was going to be, like, hitting the person with the shield. 
it's the beam saber. So, and then it's the double gun, then it's the big gun. So, you'll see the rest of this guy in my next review, which is coming right after this. So, have a nice day. Next one will be size comparisons, too, with other guns that I have. I don't have many master grades, so I might just bring in a high grades. So, yeah. Have a nice day. Oh, by the way, next, you'll see, um... I'll do the unicorn line, so you'll see unicorn destroy mode with the head bust. And Banshee. Banshee. And, uh... I'm... Um, Unicorn, Sananju, Banshee. Those are the three that I will be reviewing soon, so bye.